Let's get you the latest news on coronavirus and treatment and in a bit to put the clinical trials of indigenous COVID vaccine in top gear. Uh, the Indian Council of Medical Research has joined hands with Bharat Biotech International Limited uh, to fast track this and in an official statement they've actually said that they aim to launch the indigenous COVID-19 vaccine by August 15th. Let's go across to Uma for more uh, on this. Uma, it seems a very, very ambitious target though they have said this is what they hope for that by August 15th we could possibly have a vaccine for public use? Gargi, as you know, preclinical trials as well as clinical trials is a very long, drawn out process. Usually, people would take at least uh, two years, is what our conservative estimates for uh, you know uh, trials like this and for the entire procedures to be completed according to usual protocols that are followed. But obviously, we are not in uh, usual circumstances, and these are very unusual circumstances, and that's one reason why this has been fast tracked and uh, the regulatory mechanism, in fact, has been. Uh, completely speeded up for this, uh, uh, you know, including the preclinical trials happened uh, very fast and they said uh, they have uh, satisfactory uh, results in terms of both the safety as well as the immune response of this particular vaccine. Uh, it's a collaboration between the ICMR as well as the National Institute of Virology, uh, Pune, which has in fact provided the COVID uh, SARS-2 vi virus strain uh, to Bharat Biotech, uh, which of course has the experience uh, uh, of handling vaccines and fast-tracking vaccines uh, in the past as well. They have uh, worked on multiple kinds of vaccines and they are working with international partners and they have a biosafety lab, which is of, uh, you know, uh, uh, third level, which as we call it. So uh, in that sense, they are in good hands and uh, it is, while you said, very ambitious but it is certainly fantastic news if it can really happen. Uh, the list of hospitals has been, has been identified across the uh, country uh, where these clinical trials are expected to take place according to protocols. Whether uh, all that can happen on schedule is, of course, something that we um, would raise a question mark about. Uh, but certainly uh, the government is uh, very, very keen to fast track this and that's the reason why all these institutes have been given that letter that's been sent out to all these institutes uh, making it very clear that this is the top priority of the government and therefore everyone is going to be monitoring it uh, and gearing towards uh, making it happen on uh, India's Independence Day when they are hoping this will be freedom from COVID-19 as well. While what I say may sound too bombastic, but that is certainly the hope.